so you're probably wondering what is the main issues with your actual connection of your domains here in the Shopify. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get started in managing an existing one. This tip can help you resolve common issues. So first of all, let's understand the domain DNS records. Now, if I wanted to add a new domain records, let's go into the settings of the Shopify, go into domains and into domains, focusing to connect an existing domain, transfer domain or buy a new domain. So if I do have the connection of one domain, let's say for example, Xana.clicked, we might have the following instructions to make this connection uh, verified. Now let's go for shop. And these are the common uh, update settings issues that you might be having. So domain and DNS errors can occur for various reasons, such as some incorrect DNS settings, the propagation delays or conflict with an existing record. So some common error messages you might see includes, for example, the DNS proof finished domain or not resolved. So first of all, we want to check our DNS settings. If you looked into your domain provider account, such as the GoDaddy, Namecheat, Hostinger, I'm going to try it out with Hostinger. You want to focus into your domains. Into domains, let's focus into the left pod that says domain portfolio or check out where you have located your domain so you can hit now into managed. And to manage your domain, you should see that we have a DNS record and name server section. So here, this is the part where you can check out your managed DNS records. So usually, the DNS records here in Shopify is going to be telling us what should be added into our domains. So in this case, I have an A record. So here I have an A record. At and the current IP address and the required value. So this is the required value. As you can see, this is the current IP address. This is a different one. So that means that there is another record with exactly the same uh, domain DNS. So what you need to do is to locate which is one, the type that was, let's say, added and delete it. So you can make sure that there's only one record added into this site. The same thing with the second part, which is the C name, triple W, the current value and the required value. So the current value should be deleted and you just need it to, let's say, make the transfer or replace it with a new required value. In this case, I only have one C name already been done, triple W, and the content has not been added in here. There we go. Now, the next thing is to remove any conflicting records and verify the DNS propagation. After you have made all of these changes to your DNS settings, this can be taking up to 48 hours for the changes to propagate across the internet. So you can use uh, online tools like DNS Checker, for example, go for DNS Checker online, of course. Of course, this is from Google. This can help you to check out the verification of DNS changes have been updated globally. And if not, what you can do is to might need to wait a little bit longer. So into the DNS check, I'm going to head back, check out the URL that I'm going to be using for the Shopify. And I hit now into search. So into search, you should see that everything is working fine. And it's working here, it's working here. Everything is working into all these countries. So the propagation map at the DNS checker is actually working really well. Now there's an issue here uh, with this country. So I want to make sure that there's a map view and why is it happening? So just once again, wait till the process has not been successfully done and you're good to go. And lastly, you want to clear the browser cache into the DNS cache. Sometimes some of the DNS records can be uh, due to an outdated cache data. So you can flush your DNS caches into a new site. Let's go for three dots and go for settings. Into the settings, let's focus into the left part. Into the left part, what you can do is to look out for the privacy and security elements. So you can try to delete um, a few elements. For example, I go for delete the browsing data and you can delete some caches cookies and some browsing history. For example, they have a little bit more than 300 megabytes. So this might be making a little bit more um, side must more faster in the last hour or all time, which is all of this. So I can delete this data and boom, you can try it out a few minutes later so you can make sure everything looks correctly. If you're still facing some issues after trying all of these steps, the last solution is to go into the upper side, look out for your account and look out for the help center. So the Shopify support of the domain provider can help us to check out and they can assist us to resolve the problem in the specific way. So they do have this live chat of the Shopify, so you might want to check that out. 
and then you have it. That's how you can troubleshoot and fix domains DNS errors into Shopify. So if this video helped you, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to TechBrust, and hit the notification bell for more helpful tutorials. Thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, with all this being said, you can see you to a brand new section of TechBrust. See you next time.